So what are we doing then? We're gonna put shovels on the digger, get that done. And once that's done, we're probably gonna move the combine around. I gotta put stuff in my pickup. And hopefully they come out with 540 today so we can move that blade. Get it put somewhere where it's not in the way. Can the digger come in here and unfold? I'll unfold it and I'm back it in. Awesome. I can't can't remember how oh, it's wide and too wide. <laughs> switch these out every year because they get really worn down. That's the ones we're taking off and then these are the ones that we're putting on. They get really worn out just if it's a dry spring they don't last very long. If it's a little bit wetter conditions then they last a little bit longer but last year during tillage anyway it was pretty dry and then once we tried planting then it got we got a bunch of rains. Once we replace these, were they going to make it through all the tillage or for uh, this, this spring at least? Depends on what the weather does. If it turns dry, they won't. But if it stays kind of wet, the ones that we replace should be able to last. And then the ones that we didn't that were still good enough, we'll have to replace about halfway through. All right. It doesn't look like there's more than a hundred of these things to replace, so... That's always good. All right, let's get the demo on how to replace these things so I can actually do something and help you. So, let's do this one. They're just a knock-off, knock-on system. I think, I don't know who else does it, but I know Case is primarily the only one. John Deere has one where you have to have an extra bar and there's a spring you have to compress and then knock it off. But then you can just push it back on. These ones you got to hammer back on. Otherwise, when you hit something, they'll come flying right off. Like that. Kind of a tricky sometimes. About it. Nice and flush there. Yep. You just want to get it somewhat flush and then it should be good to go. All right, now we just repeat that process another hundred times. How many how many of them did you buy? Uh ten there and then we got a, about twenty back there. Okay, so we're putting on a minimum of thirty of these things today. Yep. Alright, let's get after it. Those the ones up front I probably replaced right, right at the end last, uh, last spring. But uh, the ones that are normally behind the tractor, uh, tracks or tires, whatever you got, you're gonna have to replace them first right away. Because the uh, compaction, it makes it a lot harder to go through that ground. So they get eaten up first. And then the ones behind like the implements tires, they normally go second.
problem to replace them, but didn't fix it. So will it move or not? No. You can't get it in with anything. There's no uh, neutral light up here. Basically, it doesn't register that the transmission is even there. We don't really have to move this one, though, to get the other no. two out. So. Did this and yeah. yeah, I can't even set the cruise. Guys up from Marshall are coming down to grab that truck because it still won't go into gear. We gotta get this out of the way, put a battery charger on that once that truck gets out of here, and then hopefully get that truck back or hook that one onto the trailer back there so we can get the planner out once we get the tractor back. Hopefully everything works as well as I just explained it, but it never fucking does. So basically what you're saying is probably another two or three hours of musical machines moving stuff around. It's like help has arrived. Got some really low spots down like a mile. Well, I'm just saying basically to get it turned that that way, but I don't know if it's wide enough for this to go around it. Sure. I could just pull the drive shaft and run here too. It's just extra time. Yep. Well, I just hook up to it with my pickup. I was just going to ask you, what if you hook up to it with your pickup and drive towards yep. the big evergreen and just have it parked there, and then I can. Try and do a three point fuel bear on the pole. Would that be alright? Yeah. You want me to grab a chain? Sure. Otherwise, I got a rope. I don't know. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll take a chain. Okay. So, not, not a minor issue. It's going to the shop. Yeah. So, now we're going to drag this thing out with, uh, with the truck here so that he can get to the back end and tow it up to get fixed, so.
I thought it was going to be a lot um, more dramatic than that, but at least that thing's out of the way so we can finally take this uh, other Kenworth here. Well, I guess first we have to pull <laughs> back this truck out and then take this other truck, come around, hook onto the trailer here, and we'll get that out of here, get the sprayer here, get this thing out of here, and then finally get to the planter, which is really the next thing we need to get working on here in the next couple days. So all of that fun just to get the planter out. should when you have a truck that just spent how many hundreds or thousands of dollars on it, thousands and you put zero miles on it and now they're towing it again and you know it's going to cost probably another thousand dollars to figure out what's going on yeah so today.